Here's what the sound on the card sounds like after I put some buzzer code in. Here's the code. Let's try another piece of code and see how it sounds. It just hits the four tones. Oops, didn't quite keep up. Wow, that's a little scary. Maybe the uh, new took some extra time. Let's try again. That looks like it worked. We can play with the time for that sound. And with this method of talking to the card, it's pretty easy just to upload a single line and run it. Buzzer's not very loud, but it seems like it works okay. Thought I would do that because it seems like pretty low hanging fruit. Running on the Multicomp OSI 6502, not the Superboard card. The code to do the timer basically takes a counter and outputs the buzzer based on four latch bits, which are the same other, the other bits in there control the LEDs inside that register, but we had these bits left over, and selects one of four counter points on there. And if you do, in the first example, if we did a count up from 16 up to 250, up to 255, and that would do a mixture of these signals. It would do uh, ands of those being present as well as the ors. So as the uh, latch bits change, the counter bits that would be selected would all get ORed together. I'm sure there's other magic that can be done with XOR and other things. Uh, counter is fairly straightforward. Uh, counter. Um, here's the code for the counter. Uh, it's an n bit counter, although I th here it's actually set that 28 is a default. Uh, and it basically just uh, counts forever. If there's a clear, it'll clear. If there's a clock is one, a clock event, I guess that could be clock rising edge. That's probably the more modern way to do this. But if this was a piece of code I had sitting around, I just threw in here, one I use for blinking LEDs normally. And it'll just keep counting up. The other piece of code is the outlatch, which I think I've documented it here before in the LED section. It's basically an 8-bit latch that you can write to from the microprocessor. Um, that code is already exists up uh, here in the outlatch section. It takes in the data from the CPU, a clock, and I.O. chip select, which is coded for address 65492, which you can see in the code itself. Uh, right here, 65492. If you poke a zero to it, it stops making sound. And if you poke a 16, 32, 64, 128, it'll make the four tones. And if you poke, as in this example here, if you poke some combination of those bits, it'll create some disharmonious sort of a sound. Of course, we had to add the buzzer to the pin list. It wasn't on there. And so that definition there adds it. And here's the buzzer in the pin assignment file. It's on pin 85, and I set it to the same 3.3 volt L volt LVTTL that everything else is set to on the card. The outlatch does have as an input a clear line so that when uh, it needs to clear, it clears it. I believe it must be inverted inside of here to not be an issue. Uh, yeah, if clear is zero, so it's actually clear, and I probably should fix that. But it, it works, it does what it should do. Yeah, this would keep it from making sound when you turn it on. I think it'd be really annoying if it came up with that horrible tone. Now it's not very loud, it's just uh, got a 100 ohm series resistor with a little speaker. I think they call it a buzzer on there, but I don't know, it's sort of a speaker at the same time. Anyhow, if you wanna add a buzzer, it looks like it'd be something easy to do with this card. I don't think there's any OS support for it. There might be down inside of Grant's terminal. I haven't looked down in there to see if there's any sort of control G detection. If there is, that might be a place to add a buzzer. Uh, 
not very loud. And if this thing was in a box, you'd probably have a hard time hearing it. Hopefully the microphone picked it up okay. Thanks for watching. If you want more information, you can see our wiki pages for these products, and we have YouTube videos on them as well. We have a store in Tindy where we sell all of our cards. Thanks for watching our video, and if you enjoyed it, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.